Hi guys, my name is Peter and I'm a vocal percussionist based right here in Singapore. I'm from an a cappella group called My Capella, and usually we have no instruments and I do the drum sounds with my mouth. Now, I've never had any uh, actual drum lessons uh, and I don't know how to play drums. I'm not very well coordinated. But in what I do, I always try to pay attention to drummers and percussion players and try to understand what they think about, how they prepare and the things that they prioritize. So in this series, we have a pair of guests for every episode and they are all from different types of backgrounds. And so for today's episode, we have first and foremost, Ridwan! Right, Can you there. demonstrate a quick solo for us, please? Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> can, you, can you briefly self-introduce yourself, who you are, what you do? Hi everyone, my name is Ridwan Zalani. Uh, I'm a percussionist. I'm the artistic director of Nadi Singapura, which is a percussion ensemble focusing on the trajectory of Malay percussion in Singapore, um, presenting our performative uh, way of um, drumming, singing, dancing, uh, yeah. So, so you sing and dance also? Yeah, 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 yeah. In the ensemble, we do a lot of things. I think the most important thing is to maximize our fullest potential in the practice of our drums. Cool. Yeah. And how how long have you been doing this? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first thing, what is this called? Okay, the, the, the drum that I have on, on my lap is called the Rubana. Uh, there's many names, as you know, living in the Malay archipelago, different states, different cities call it differently. Uh, generally, people know this drum as Trubana. You, it also may be referred to as Gendang Melayu, which is the Malay drum. Gendang? Gendang means drum. Yeah, Gendang. Right. Usually, Gendang refers to a two-sided two -side, two drums. But because it's Gendang Melayu, mm -hmm. the people of Malay has so many different subgroups, right? Boyanis, Banjar, Aceh, mm -hmm. and, and the list goes on. So, for the Malay people, this is the drum of the Malay people. So, uh, in some other places, it might also be referred to as Bebano. Not Rebana, but Bebano. The R is changed to B. Oh. Yeah, even some people from the, from the village would just say, Bano mu mana? It becomes bano only. So it's short form. Yeah, short form. So, yeah. So wow. it, it it it's a beautiful drum. Um, What's I've, it made of? It's made out of uh, a wooden frame, a skin that is stretched to the edge with the usage of the rattan, uh, which is um, very indicative of where the origin of these drums is. Okay. If you look at African drums, they use a certain kind of materials. Yep. But if you see drums from the Malay archipelago. Largely, it uses the bamboo, rattan. The, the rattan, and wooden frame, and yeah. what what skin? Is this? this is goat. Goat. Uh, usually female, uh, ah, depending. But yeah, so yeah, specific. Yeah. Ah. Strong, stronger. Strong, stronger. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> According to the makers, yes. So they, must they, check they, first, ah. Uh, sometimes when we order customized drums, ah. we will always say like maybe five year old. Oh yeah, it, yeah. It, there is there are details into like, all of this. Like order food. Like uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I rarely use traditional um, skin. natural raw hide skin oh, okay. because of uh, us playing in Singapore. Uh -huh. uh, geology, we are still an island, mm. so the level of humidity is quite high, and sometimes the drums cannot last for a long time. Uh, sometimes also we wanna want you wanna be able to pitch the drums into different keys. Right. So uh, sometimes I use the the synthetic head synthetic. drums. Yeah. So yeah, this is the Robana. Yeah. Cool. So so you asked about my uh, I started playing dabbling into the world of Malay performing arts at the age of seven. Ah. So I'm thirty seven. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I see, I see, I see. So I think we all got the max. Huh? <laughs> Nadi is 10 years old. So I spent 10 years of my life, a third of my life, developing Nadi Singapura. Wow. Yeah. That's so 30 years of experience uh, of playing this instrument. Uh, bang. <laughs> I don't know. I think so. <laughs> I try, I try. Very cool. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So for our second guest, we have Govin Tan. Very yes. cool. Very cool. Very fast. So, similarly, can you uh, tell our audiences uh, who you are, what you do, etc. Et so, hi, my name is Govin Tan and um, basically, um, I started my musical journey playing Indian music at the age of 12 years old under my father's guidance. 
Um, so my brother was playing the sitar, I was playing the tabla naturally because it's the natural accompanying instrument to the sitar. And since then, my father has tried to get a lot of performances for us, get us out there in the in the in the in the scene, and we have been running the little community uh, CC circuit. And mm. from there, we were really enjoying ourselves playing music. But funnily, at that point of time, music was not the main thing. It's just about hanging out with the family, and then after that, McDonald's. You know, when you were young, you really <laughs> love McDonald's. <laughs> so you do it for the food, huh? I really did it for the food, and then my cousin came on board, and then we had. Uh, we started the earlier version of Flame the Forest, right. right? Which is also the name that we took after my father's band, because right. my father's had a band which is called Flame of the Forest, and we thought, you know, my father gave us all this, all this uh, knowledge and shared with us his love for music, and we thought, you know, maybe what better way to honor our dad than cool. to use back Flame of the Forest? So this is Flame of the Forest Generation Two, two point oh, <laughs> two point oh. Flame of the <laughs> So I'm very passionate about the junior version. So I'm very passionate about drums, and throughout my life as a percussionist, I've of course chanced upon Ridwan Zalani, this amazing <laughs> man right here. As you can tell, they know each other quite well. <laughs> yes, we know each other. My very brother, well. my brother, a bit too well. <laughs> <laughs> so. He, Throughout my process, he really opened up my eyes to the world of percussion. Because at, at that point of time, I was only playing tabla. And then he showed me different types of drum, the rabana, the pandero, the congas, and all these other instruments. Basically, various percussions from the world. Yep. And I got really, really involved in all these, the oh. process of learning it. So, so you, you seem quite young. You, you've been playing this since age 12. For 12 how years long? Ago. For oh, you're twenty four. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. Twelve I years started at twelve. Oh, oh, I thought you said twelve years ago. Okay. Uh, I'm twenty nine now. Twenty something years old. Very young. I'm seventeen, turning sixteen next year. You? <laughs> 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 how does this math work? <laughs> Cannot count. Okay, very cool. Uh, and and tell us more about your instrument and what is it made of. You know. So um, this is called the tabla, yep. and the tabla is basically a North Indian instrument, right? Because in India they categorize it into two categories, which are North and South. And North is Hindustani, and South is Carnatic music. So the tabla actually comes from the word T A B L. I don't know how to pronounce that. Tabla, tabla, right? Which is basically a Persian instrument, uh, like similar to one of the mm. Persian instruments that was brought over to India. Right. right? So the the history goes even further back. Yes. Right. And then, I, if I'm not wrong, I might be I might be quite wrong on this. It was one drum. Okay. Yeah, it is. And then, then there's also another myth and another story that the drum broke, and then people start playing it this oh. way, right? So they, they, this is still not not it's it's what that is being taught in schools, right. but it's still not like part of the part of the, the mythology yet. Yet. Yes. Understood. Right. So tabla is mainly like a chord instrument. So it's very nice, it's very sweet, and we would like to call it the romantic instrument. So you hear a lot. Of... Mm. Some funny this business, business going romantic, on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> funny Some funny business. Business. <laughs> mm. Mm. So it's basically all like we can use it in Sufi music, Ghazal, um, light classical, dunes. It's just basically different terms of 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 the traditional Indian Hindustani music. So is it well, is it also made of goats or? Yes. Goat? So now we talk like about the common, construct, right? <laughs> seems like a common animal choice. <laughs> Why? Well, I guess they can't use beef. Hey, but but Murdigam have that. Yeah, I know, right? So, what's going on about? there, right? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, there, there, there are also instruments from the Malay world that uses... Use, use yeah, beef. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, as in, as in buffaloes, cows, leather. and everything. But why are we saying beef? beef yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There, there are so many. But depends on the... I think the, the most important thing is the frequency that the drum's supposed to pro, uh, produce. Right. Uh, and, and, the kind, and the kind of uh, kind of tone, the colour that we want to get. Some tones are meant to be long and yeah. thin. Right. Like the kompang, sharp. Yeah. So you need a thinner thin skin. skin, but it cannot be too thin. You know, if it will sound. Rigidity. Yeah, but if you do, if you look at bedo or jidor, the 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 bass drums of the Malay music, the, most commonly they use the the bigger instrument, uh, the bigger animals uh, skins. 
Right, so it's all yeah. proportionate. Uh. Depends la. <laughs> the really, I think it depends. Like, it's the yeah. tone color, right? Like yeah. Merdangam, there's different tone and it's yes, really yes. tougher. It's stronger. It's 2,000 years of history. It's really rug, uh, what rugged. Rugged. Yes. Rugged. rugged, this one. Uh. <laughs> so so <Fierce>. goat skin. <laughs> so the top, generally, this same is goat skin. Yep. I think there's three layers. One, two, and then one more below, inside, hidden. That's how you create the t- the different tones of the instrument. And then the, the and then the, the gray straps thing. here. Oh, sorry. Where's the gray thing? The gray thing in the the, 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 the CIE. The bullseye. <laughs> the bullseye. <laughs> sorry. See, I'm totally new to this. <laughs> so this is called the CIE. In okay. some parts it's called the CIE, and some parts it's called the gap. Okay. Right. It's usually made out of uh, uh, they what they call the masala. It's a mixture of paste, and they put some iron filings. Iron filings. And maybe a tiny drop of rat poison. Because technically masala is, is, is like a food, you know, it's like some kind of flour, some kind of paste, right. rats will eat it. So if they put a little bit of rat poison, they will oh. go away. But it's not... As a, as bad, a prevention yeah, of uh, pest control. Yes, it's not that crazy. Pest control. You can't touch your pest control. control. I mean, he's yeah, a, yeah, yeah, a food. Yeah, yeah. It's a food sauce, right? That's what I learned off when I was there talking to the maker. <laughs> understand, understand. Okay, sorry, you were talking about the, the and straps. Then, at the side right here, this is all goat skin also. Goat skin. So this whole thing here is one strap. So... And oh, so it's like tie and tie and yes. tie and tie. And all these little packs here, gates, yeah. they are all for tuning in right. terms of big tunings. So how we generally tune this instrument is really quite interesting, which I didn't, I don't have with me right now. We have a hammer. Like, you know, in the Maralangam, they use a, a chisel and yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, 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 what do you call it? Stone. Stone and, a, and like, like a wooden pack to yeah, like, knock like it this, out, right? Like this. Yeah, similar to that. Mm-hmm. Right, we use just a hammer, a metal hammer, and then we go, kong, kong. Kong, hit here, kong. And then that's called fine. That's, that's where we do the fine tuning. If you want to change the tune drastically, right. it's through the packs. Right. right. And, and the body? The body, does, doesn't yes. look like wood. Is it wood? No. This it's one wood. is metal. Last time they used copper. Right? Oh my God. Metal work. Wow. Copper, and then maybe they chrome it or something. And this is rose wood. I think oh, so in, 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 in one metal, what they one call wood. it is ro- uh, shisham root. Shisham. So the ones that we always try to find is the black shisham. Cool. Very cool. Okay, all right. Like- we we, we want to try to hear all this in action. So uh, for each episode, we do have a, a, a song that is selected that we try to perform. <laughs> I say try to because I'm always nervous about singing it. Um, so I will play and sing the melody and then they will play their respective instruments and then we'll try to break it down and then dissect the situation and see how, how things work. I will try to imitate it with my voice and then get them to explain their thought process. All right, so the, the song that we've chosen is uh, Rai Kan Chinta by M. Nasir. I hope that I sing this somewhat uh, toler- tolerably. Okay, ready? One shot, one kill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, there is a lot going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to not sing so I can pay attention. And let's just start with the rubana by itself. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to try and slow the, the tempo down a bit. Okay. Because there was so much happening. Okay. So let's see what you were doing. Okay. Uh, uh, slower pace. Uh. Can, can, can. One, two, three, four. Wait, wait, wait. So, there's, I'm, I'm noticing something right away that the, the, the subdivisions are not equidistant. Oh, it's actually, if you look at it, is that your, your mental verbalization? The, the there's only a little thing bit is, of a swing in there. There's a little bit of shuffle. Like uh, maybe because of my volume. So, if I play, oh. it's just my volume. Wait, wait, wait. If I play it all, all on the straight volume. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 
Sonic Illusion. Okay, so that's the that's the full speed. So, yeah. tuta, tuta. so in your head as you're planning this, do you do you speak it out? Like, is there a verbal version of this? Um, there's no standard verbalization like the tabla mnemonics. Right. But we can tung tak ketak tung tung tak ketak tung tung tak ketak tung tung or tung tak ketak do tung ketak do tung ketak do ketak do ketak do tung ketak. Depending on the teacher, I, depending on where the I school like is. The, the facial. The, Yeah, yeah, version. because the 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 rhythm is okay, for most Malay music is the driving force. Yeah, uh, how we are categorized or the the genres are categorized, it's based on the, uh, the 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 rhythm. So in this rhythm, it's like based on joget. Joget okay. is dance. Right, it's a dance genre, and it's uh, one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six, or one two three four or one right. two depending on how you want to count it. But right. usually for the percussionists, we just support that. That 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 the, that base, the, the shuffle, yeah. uh, the, the, the 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 primary groove. Uh. Okay, so I I could hear maybe three or four different types of tones. Mm-hmm. Can you demonstrate? Okay, the bass tone. It's quite high actually. There's a ringing tone at, at the back of it as well. Okay. That's the closest I can get for one. Okay. And then the second one. Tung 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 tung. Okay, so. maybe a D consonant. Tung. Okay. Tung 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 tung. And then the third one is a sl- slap. Tung 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 tung. Slap just. That's more Western already. Okay. 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 And then the last one, which is the most significant tone, is the ringing that you were mentioning. Yeah. The, the, so uh, yeah. So that 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 tone is very significant to the rubana because the rubana is the only drum that uses it as a functional tone. Okay. So the it is used to replicate the instrument called the gong. Aha. Uh-huh. So I will always play the first bit. Okay. Yeah. So the the gong tone sounds like this. Yeah. So, that, that's yeah. very so, resonant. Yeah. So I I purposely play it like there. So on the first on beat, the first beat, like, on the first, first beat. beat. So, oh, in context. Okay, so now now there's a bit more of a of a pattern. Okay, so there there were variations later on in the yeah. sequence as well. But this is the main. This group? is the main, the main, the main rhythm, the main sound. So let's see. So, so let's play it again. One and two and the three and the four. It's the same key. Yeah, that's what I say. <laughs> So that's the function of the gong actually in the I music. See. That's why when you change the key, it does does it. You know when when we were just meeting up for the first time right. and playing, we were trying to find that. But okay, is... I'm interested to hear you if you were to do your vocalized version of what you what, what you drummed. Okay. Okay. But with the guitar. But while I'm playing guitar. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So okay. Okay. So the guitar sounds guitar guitar. Because I'm trying to see I'm trying to see how I can convert what you play on your hands to to my mouth. Okay. But I think that your vo- vocalization would, would help me a lot. Okay. So one, two, and three, okay. and four. Tung tak keting dang, 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 tung tak keting d
<laughs> okay, cool. Okay, we right, need to right. we need to move on because this this is totally different sounds as well. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. same thing, lah. Uh. Same thing, lah. Uh. So, uh. I'm not gonna sing, and we'll we'll, we'll see what you're doing. We we'll slow it down. One and a two and a three and a four and. A three. Chop, 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 chop. Can we, can we split to one hand at a time? I can, I can. I'm looking left, right, left, right. I'm, I'm it's blurry. unlikely to be that way, but let's try. <laughs> oh, okay. It's difficult to mute one hand. No, it's not difficult, but let's try. It is not the sound you want to to see. No, 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 I'm it's just, not the sound I'm just trying to dissect further. Okay, let's try. I'm, yeah. I'm blurred. Okay, one, two, three. Eh. It's also pitched to the same key. So the, the one that you hit at the rim, there's a tung, which is the same as yours. No wonder everything sits so nicely. Everything is in the same key. So it can be pitched. It's supposed that to is be. The, yeah, it's, it's supposed, supposed to be. To be. So That's cool. the formula. That's the formula. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. The wonder when we change key, we try to change key just now. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible, it's terrible. Okay, so the other hand. One, a two, and a three, and a go. <laughs> Okay, I think I got the left hand. But let's try to incorporate both hands. Oh no! The whole sequence, do I don't know how I'm gonna... It's just really fascinating looking at this. Yeah. <laughs> it's impressive. I think I kind of I kind of got the, the gist of the left hand. Ish? I guess. Try yes. Again. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Okay, okay. So don't think about hand. it this way. I cannot because I think about it like that. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's do both hands. Let's see if okay. I can get this. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, go! You did something. Yeah. There is a so what is the you have a verbalization process. Yeah. Okay. So, so basically every note you hear on the tabla can be can be replicated through the voice. It's almost like the the it's basically like konakol. Okay. So there right? is a there is a syllabus. Like. There's every note that has a syllabus. So for mm. example, on the right hand we have ta. Uh-huh. Right? Then we play ta. It's, it is taught to us this way. For example, my teacher would say, Also, I'm ta. anyhow making up my own syllables. <laughs> <laughs> ta, and we will play ta. If my teacher say tin, I will play tin, which is in between here. Right. And we have tun, which is the full open sound. Yeah. Then we have e flat. te, or cut sounds. Then we have de, ra. And we have ne. Some of the notes are called different. Sometimes they called ta. Depending on the volume and the stress point, Holy it smokes. can be called na. Holy te, in depending, we can change some of it to te. We sometimes we only use one. Oh. Right. So that's right hand. <laughs> that's just right hand. <laughs> that's just right hand. <laughs> okay, left hand. Left hand, we got two sounds. Okay. Cut. And we got gay. Sometimes when you play open, people say ga. When you play close, people say gay. So right. the the duration of the ring. Yes. Okay. But the intricacy of the left hand comes from the modulation of the pitch, the way we pitch Which bend. Which is the, the looks like your right. So I'm now pressure at the same time cutting Position. out the the distance of the black dot of the CIE. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then. <laughs> <laughs> <We> just... 
my boy can sing that. So if you actually look at this, this one creates that push and pull, that feel. Right. But this one holds. Okay, so if this whole sequence, you were to do verbally. So I'll play, I'll say, the, the basic composition, this is in sexas, right? Okay. Like in, in uh, Malay music, they call it the joget. Mm -hmm. In tabla, we call it dadra. D-A-D-R-A. -A. Dadra tal. Chin. Yeah, okay. good. <laughs> dadra tal. Dadra tal, which is, the syllab basic syllabus is da ti da na tin. Ta ti da da tin. Da ti da da tin. Ta ti da da tin. But of course, your tin, you can play tun. It's, it's, it's interchangeable. So there's a very clear vocal process. Interesting. It's almost like a two bar phrase. Da ti bass, da da. Tin na hai. Oh, so there's ta ti. So ta three ta din. Going up, going down. Down, up, up, down. In, wow. in music, we call it the body and the kali, which is the stress and the wave. Wow. <laughs> Accent, descent. Sim, wow. sim, some, I guess so. Go up, go down. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. My goodness. Okay, I'm going to try something. We see what happens. Huh? We see what happens. So, no hands. Okay. Verbals only. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how that sounds. A different kind of vocal percussion. Okay, one and a two and a three and a four. So cool! Dude! This is cool, man. Oh, man, that was cool. We also never did it before together. But it's fun, right? Vocal percussion. Vocal percussion. Alright, so now I would like to 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 return the favor and try what you guys do. Okay. And let's see how I get on. Okay, okay. So the most important thing is when you play the rubana, you have to be comfortable. I think okay. under there are so many different uh, ways to achieve the sound. The most important thing is we understand how the sound is supposed to sound like. Okay. Uh, so the first tone is the bass tone. Bass tone is four fingers together, relax. The hand shape is a handshake. How you shake your hand. And then when you play, it's, it needs to be firm but relaxed at the same time. So you just swing your fingers. Let this line... The guide is for it to be on the, the so line of this. Yeah. So and then remember the drum needs to sing. So before you hit, don't hit it, but hit and run. Then you hear the resonance. So only two tones. This is the bass tone. And then the rim tone, you go all the way to the tip. So down here. So if you have these two tones, you can really play the rubber. Can I can I ask how much is this thing? Uh, it depends. Uh it can range from Something like 400. Wait, that's the lower end? That's, a, that's the quite... Oh, okay, okay. The average, la, average, average. I'm, I'm deciding how nervous I should be. <laughs> okay. okay, let's try. Four fingers together. And, and then, then I, I, and don't, I don't mute it. Uh, yeah. So. Okay, together. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Okay, the high tone. So that's on At this. the edge, yeah. Okay. okay, further out, further out, further out. Further out. Further out, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, good. Wow. Wow. So, so... <laughs> okay, so basic <laughs> rhythm. Uh, this is called a masri, M A S R I. Okay. And yeah. I find it very hard to look up. 
Because I will, I will, I will miss you know the positioning. Because I have to see where I'm going. I think trust your ears. Mm. After I, once you're okay, just trust your ears and then your hands. I don't. Still... I don't trust my muscle memory. <laughs> I don't trust my hands. Okay, so your your left hand. Ah, rest. Hold the drum. Is it, oh. it's, it's holding the drum. I should hold it here, no, but no, not here. You hold, hold it there. Hold like that. Ah, yeah. Relax. Rest oh. there. Ah. <laughs> oh, mouth. Now you look like. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how should I do this? <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. So so so. A fuller, yeah. Yes. Pains, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is not, it's not easy, ah. Face from a smile. We come. Ah. Okay. Good, good, good. Do you have like bleeding fingers and such? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes, once in a while, la, blue moon. Uh. Whiplash Rabana style. <laughs> uh, not, not, not by Rabana only. I think. Okay, yeah, yeah. When then, you play a lot of things. And okay, then. that one makes sense. Right. Okay, <laughs> alright, let's, let's go to, let's go to tabla. tabla. I'll come to you, I'll come to okay, you. Okay, cool. Okay, I'll come to you. But I explain a little bit first here. Okay. Right? So, basically, you got this, this part of your hand. You have calluses there. Yeah, I do, I do. It's, Goodness! It's got to do with, with our weather. I mean, there are a lot of play, tabla players that doesn't have this. Okay. Right? Because maybe the, the country in the India is now. not as humid. Okay, okay. Right? In certain time of the month. But for Singapore, it's really hot. That's why I have to use powder also right, to right, keep right, my right. hand because I'm moving a lot. Right. right. So during my training, at that point of time, we had blisters. Uh. And then my father and my teacher won't let us stop. You just play past the blisters and then the blister will harden up. Right, right. And then, it's like guitar players. La. Yeah. So, yeah. So, put this part of your arm and the wrist, the lower part of the wrist, right before the CIE, the black dot. Okay? And down. Okay. Then after that, five fingers, pop, cut. Okay. For the bass note, it's two fingers here, like Spider-Man. No spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> and strike with two fingers close together. Ah on the opposite end of the skin. Not the black dot, the skin. Oh, you're, you're curling it? Yes. You got nails? Uh, no, I can't. Okay, good. Left hand then we can play. Yeah. Base, gay, gay, and one finger. Here, here, here. So they're here. supposed to be like... Together. Cyclical. Yes. Mm. And then if you can get this sound, then we can move to... If you can get enough of the ring, then you can get that. Right. Try it. So this is the direction. So, okay, wait. The first one is... So I rest this here. The right. first one is just slap it down, is it? Yes. Fingers to the edge of the tabla. Of here? Yes. Uh, up here? Yes. Closed or yeah. open? Um, doesn't matter as long doesn't as it's all length. Close for now. Close okay. for now. Yeah, that's it. Cut. First tone. First tone. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Sounds like all the other kind. <laughs> Okay, second one is uh, press and hold, hit and hold. Hit and go. Same. Yes. But you need a lot of strength. Wait, wait. The more strength and more angle. <laughs> it's the angle of the playing now. So that's why this is an easier angle, is it? Yes. It's, it, it's in line to the movement, the shoulder movement. Because now you're playing seated up. It, it's very different also. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, now too much of your this part of your hand is touching the skin. Too fleshy. Yeah. Leave only like less. Ah, there? You can start to hear mm. a little bit of the ring. Oh, right. if I just use a smaller corner. Yes. You might be able to. Ah. Yeah! There we go. <laughs> My facial expression is very bad though. Okay. Now you get enough ring, quickly go, select. <laughs> <laughs> I don't spot. Hit and run. This one, yeah, run. Really run. Hit and dash. Dash. You know? Ah. Miss. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> that was shit, man. Okay, cool. Oh! Let's try the other one. Let's try the other one. Okay, okay. So this one... It's <laughs> more complicating, huh? Complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I got overconfidence. Okay. Hand, ring finger stay at the edge of the CIE. Oh my goodness. This okay. one is meant to block out the sound. Like a mute. Like, for example, if I were to play ta, the tower will ring on you. Oh. Yeah, I'll play tin, the tin will ring, then oh. this is full, so there's no block. Oh. The whole, whole drum will ring, right? So, together with the little finger at the edge, right? From this position, lift up your middle finger, 
Oh my goodness. Close your index and your thumb. Usually we start like that. Because uh -huh. we want to look pretty also. Right? Then the movement is not up down. Not up down. Uh. This it's is almost like snooker already. From here. To oh the side. Oh goodness. So it's you're rotational... pivoting. You see you're yeah. pivoting this? On the, on the ring and pinky a little bit. Yes. So you're pivoting. pivoting. So it's, you place it like that, then you sweep it to the side. Which is your normal playing position because you don't probably want to play like that. Yep. You want to go natural movement. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Like cup the thing and go. Outside, one. Inside, two. Second. Hit and run, right? Go for hit and run. Everything hit and run. Hit and up. To allow the ringing. You don't, you don't stop. Let's go with two sounds. <laughs> yeah, two sounds. <laughs> Let's go with two, two sounds. Sound. Scared. <laughs> this one, is it... Uh, rotational symmetry or? Yes. Okay, so... It must be two. Might, <laughs> okay. Okay. Back! I go, I go, I go, I go! <laughs> wait, wait, I, I cannot... I, I don't cannot. know how this camera works. But okay. So rest your hand like, like that, normal. Okay. Yeah, there. You see, you are there already. You are, okay. Once you rest your hand, you are already there. Middle finger up. Index finger and this one together. Tilt a bit and turn this way. Strike this side. Here? Yeah. Ah. Yeah! Macha macha. Perfect! And then now we try the middle one called the Sur. This is tough. Yeah, one. the middle one is a, a tougher sound to come out with. So for, for every uh, episode, we have a unique version of our theme song. Uh, which it w which is played at the beginning of the episode, and uh, the theme song is very aptly titled "Let's Talk Drums," which is the same as the title of the, the whole show. So let's just see what this episode's version sounds like with our two guests. One, two, three, four. Let's talk drums. Let's talk drums. <laughs> All right. I want to thank my guests, Ridwan and Govin. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.